Sometimes things get abandoned, even if those things are amazing. You've probably had to abandon a thing or two once in your life, so for some, the items on this list might be a little like that, or heck, a lot like that. This is a very special car and it's the only one in the world with an aluminium body. From car graveyards to ancient ships in unsuspecting places, here are 15 of the most amazing abandoned vehicles in the world. Number 15. Bassness Car Cemetery. The private custodians of this bizarre car cemetery, found hidden in the woods near the Swedish-Norwegian border, don't mind photographers showing up and getting their Instagram-worthy photos. But that same permissive attitude does not apply to anyone who thinks stealing or rearranging the cemetery is okay. The owners here want their display just how they put things and not even one item misplaced or altered in any way. They say their collection is an artful collection of human-made objects being reclaimed by Mother Nature. That's the art itself. Deep in the woods, you can find this well-hidden car cemetery as if it appeared out of nowhere. If you happened upon this site on your own without knowing what it was, you might be confused. Hundreds of cars can be found originating from the 40s, 50s, and 60s are spread out. Some of the vehicles are covered with vegetation, with trees growing right through the windows and hoods. While it's yet to be confirmed, many of them are said to have once belonged to the U.S. military who left their vehicles there after the end of World War II and troops went home. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Talk about leaving amazing vehicles in the forest. Did Batman finally find a place to hide one of his older models of the iconic ride? It sure appears that way. Was this a prop for one of the Batman movies? Or is this some garage project some die-hard fan conjured up in his own garage? If so, why in the world would you throw such a faithful rendition away? If you look in the background, there's another vehicle that might even be yet another Batman vehicle of an even older example. Maybe this is the place where the real Batman has to dump all the husks of his tech after he upgrades. Either way, it makes for quite an amazing spectacle if you wandered upon it. What could these cars be from? Ever seen something like it cruising along your local roads? Drop a line in the comments and don't forget to use hashtag open discussion to join in on the conversation. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, Balian Collection. When it comes to urban exploration, there's little that could top the incredible find that is the Balian Collection. This is the dream find of every urban explorer on the planet. And here's why. In 2014, Classic Driver reported a fascinating tale. While exploring an old French castle, a photographer happened to cross a car treasure trove. Why so many expensive cars have been abandoned is sure a mystery. These aren't just a bunch of Toyotas sitting in a garage, but the likes of Maseratis, Mercedes-Benz and more. This was one heck of a find for the urban explorer that revealed it, and the way this story managed to reach the eyes and ears of auto enthusiasts around the globe is testament to that. There are incredible machines broken down and dusty all throughout the premises. The pictures tell a dazzling tale of the once luxurious castle it used to be. Number 13. Lake Bugatti A Bugatti is one of the fastest, most luxurious, most expensive cars on the market. With that said, you'd be hard-pressed to find just one lying at the bottom of a lake. Still, here we are with this very example for you. The Bugatti here might not be the powerhouse that they're coming up with now, but it still stands as one of the company's most iconic models. This one in particular sat submerged in Lake Maggiore, just on the border of Switzerland and Italy. It was salvaged from the water and still sold off for a whopping $350,000. If a 73-year-old dilapidated model like this sells for that outrageous price, just imagine what a top-of-the-range model will run for today. Constructed in Italy, the famed touring car was found to be registered in Nancy, France. After a deeper investigation, a small brass plate was found on the car that reads the name George Neely, 48 Rue Nolet, Paris, who the discoverers suspect probably owned the vehicle in the 30s. Number 12. Gerard Gumbert Graveyard. Some people manage to amass great car collections. With nowhere to put them, they often end up in a field behind a mansion or stuffed away in some barn somewhere. This impressive auto collection belonged to one Gerard Gumbert, and it's considered one of the greatest of all time, at least that we know of. 
There could be castles and mansions around the globe chock full of amazing vehicles, just waiting to be discovered. In some remote location deep in province lives Lagombe, his five dogs, a donkey, and about 50 vehicles. The cars are stored in what he refers to as an overgrown garden where nature has begun to reclaim the constructions with vines and foliage. Some of the vehicles, he says, were parked back in the 70s and haven't moved from that spot since. This collection is one of the greatest. Classic Driver even did a piece about them. Number 11. Rusty Dodge Sometimes you have to look past the rust to see the icon beneath. On that same token, some cars are so rusted that they aren't worth restoring. This 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona was not one of those cars and turned out to be one of the greatest restoration projects of all time. Only a measly 505 units were built in 1969, and this was one of them. This auto was considered one of the most evidently styled Dodge and went on to serve as the iconic model for the Dodge stock cars in NASCAR races. Back in the day, you could scoop one of these things up for only $3,860 US dollars. The consumer, road-faring variant, was driven by the powerful 7-liter Hemi 426 boasting a whopping 425 horsepower, a rarity for those times. The racing version could reach in the excess of 200 miles per hour on oval tracks. Pretty impressive, right? From that point on, the car solidified itself in the hearts and minds of auto enthusiasts around the globe, to the point where they'll pay an arm and a leg for a rusty one that can be restored. Number 10. The Car Cave There's a car graveyard in a deep Welsh mine shaft that you have to see to believe. What do you do when you can't get rid of your car? Apparently, here, you dump it down a big hole, where hundreds of other vehicles and parts rest as well. The cavern was dubbed the Cavern of Lost Souls, thanks to the numerous vehicles that have been found. When people purchase cars, it's often a reflection of their personality. No one wants to drive a car they don't enjoy, even if we have to. With this in mind, the automobile is like an extension of the person, therefore losing it in the mind shaft would be like losing a piece of your soul. Hence the name. If you ever want to visit an automotive equivalent to the Persian catacombs, this would be the place. Getting there is no easy task. It's filled with all manner of dangers, and attempting to reach it might just be the last thing you ever do. This is one trek that should be done by experts alone. What looks like an eyesore to most people, to autophiles, they see as more of a gateway dimension to where vehicles can share their stories. Number 9. Ferrari in Japan Some cars would cost just as much to import as they would to buy outright. Thanks to shipping politics and costs, especially for a fancy vehicle like a Ferrari, the expense can be astronomical. Though, if you're driving around in a Ferrari, money probably isn't as big an issue. This fitly Ferrari in particular was discovered in a dusty barn in Japan, where it's fallen into disrepair from negligence. Despite its condition, it still sold for a whopping one and a half million dollars. How the heck did a vehicle like this get in a basement in Japan? Your guess is as good as ours, but we're thinking magic. This legendary Ferrari was made with limited quantity, so scarcity alone keeps the price high. The fact this thing was still equipped with all original parts made it even more valuable, even if some of those parts still had to be replaced in the end. This baby once stood as the fastest car in the world, and the only one ever created with an aluminum body. Number 8. Dubai's Sports Cars it's hard to fathom anyone abandoning so many luxury supercars like these, but then again, it's Dubai. As of now, this is probably the only place in the world where something like this could exist. In the country where supercars are as common as Fords in the US, a number of junkyards and parking lots have been filled with $100,000 cars. It's like Lamborghinis, Ferraris, NSXs, you name it, and there's likely a few of them here. Many large cities are forced to deal with problems like unemployment, crime and housing issues. But in Dubai, they're worried about where to park their surplus of abandoned luxury cars. It may seem like a good problem to have, but it's become such a problem that it's made international headlines. If you're looking for your own luxury vehicle, maybe you should take a trip to Dubai and check out the dumps and junkyards. You'd still have to pay a pretty penny to have it shipped, but far less than the car brand new. Who knows what luxurious ride you might pull from that heap. Number 7. McDonald's Barge Everyone knows you can practically find a McDonald's around the globe and with plenty of buildings. Heck, there are even floating McDonald's, as is exemplified with the Mickey D's Barge. 
This one-of-a-kind restaurant can be found in Canada, but it no longer exists. The aptly named McBarge saw that a McDonald's restaurant installed onto a barge. The plan was for boat crews to be able to float through and collect a meal while working. The floating Golden Arches was first built in 1986 for the Transportation and Communication World Expo, where thousands of people crowded the restaurant for maybe a day. After the expo, the restraint was shut down and sat there unused for more than 30 years. It was anchored in the Burrard Inlet, where it would remain until 2015, where a one Howard Meekin purchased the barge and moved it to be refurbished for his own purposes. This would be the first time the barge had moved since the 80s. No matter what the barge ends up in the end, the Mick Barge will forever remain in the hearts and minds of locals who treated themselves there. Number 6. Tree Grows Through Saab Nature has no time or room for abandoned human things. This is extremely apparent with this example, where a tree has grown around and through a classic Saab vehicle. If anything is left to nature, untouched for too long, this is something you might find after a good amount of time. Nature will take over and reclaim everything in its path, including cars. It won't be deterred by metal, rubber, and gasoline in its growth. For something like this to happen, experts suspect the vehicle set out there abandoned for more than 40 years. The extent of how much the tree had grown into the quarter panel gave the technicians trying to remove it a run for their money, and they had done a million other abandoned car extractions before. It takes the right place and a whole lot of right time for an amazing thing like this to occur by accident. One of the trees grew through the bumper, effectively pinning it in place. Nature is wild and a powerful thing, that's for sure. Number 5. Abandoned Car Factory Believe it or not, one of the best places to find amazing abandoned cars is the abandoned factories for which they used to be created. Many automakers came and went with the times. A few made it into legendary status, while the other faded away into the junkyards, forests, and scrap heaps around the globe. The eerie abandoned Long Bridge Rover Car Factory has sat empty since mass layoffs 11 years ago took the jobs of most of the workers. The plant closed down shortly after. This factory is frozen in time, with some vehicles still up on the machines for which they're assembled, some of them near completion. All these cars, all that money, all those resources, wasted. It looks like some crazy looking sci-fi place, especially with it being abandoned. Is this some alien spacecraft? Without being told what it was, it'd be a good guess at the start. The impressive paint hallway looks like it belongs in something out of the Twilight Zone. Number 4. Ghost Ship Did you know there's likely hundreds of ghost ships aimlessly and unmanned floating about the ocean just waiting to either sink or crash? When ship crews need rescue, they obviously have to leave the boat behind. Seeing as water will move the boat wherever it wants, they tend to get lost amidst the deep blue. This one coasted around the sea for over a year before finally crashing on an Irish beach. It can still be found in this location to this day. Experts from the Irish Coast Guard and Ireland's commissioner office were forced to discuss what to do with the many visitors. It was drawing a lot of attention, and they couldn't be sure if it was safe for the public. The county put out a notice to all people to stay away from the wreck until an investigation could be had or the wreck removed. Ghost ships all trace their haunting stories back to ocean lore and the story of the Flying Dutchman. This was a myth told back in the 1700s. The Mary Celeste, on the other hand, was very real, and it was discovered while heading for the Strait of and it was discovered while heading for the Strait of Gibraltar in 1872. The fate of the crew is still a mystery to this day. Number 3. Abandoned Hogwarts Express The fictional transport from J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter has captivated the minds of youth for generations. The magical train ride takes them through stunning forests, open valleys, and majestic castlescapes. The train itself has solidified itself as an iconic part of the series, that everyone familiar with the stories are all acquainted. Believe it or not, the actual train they used for the film was an abandoned train, just like this one. With some elbow grease and time, they turned that abandoned relic of a locomotive into a pop culture icon. Seems there are all sorts of trains like this, as they just recently found yet another. This one too resembles the Hogwarts Express and is even the same model. We could have our own Hogwarts Express apparently, so long as we had tracks and coal to run them, it just goes to show that movie magic is really just reality magic, but highlighted. Number 2. Mega Yacht Mega yachts are a dream for many. 
The ability to just cast off and coast in luxury while you travel the seas is just about the epitome of freedom in this world. Not to mention the whopping cost to keep it staffed and operating that it would take. Sailing on one of these things is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. If you got the dough and time for a yacht, you know there are special vessels that should be respected and handled with care. Otherwise, your half-a-million-dollar toy could end up just like this one. Imagine how the owner of this yacht is feeling just staring at this boat like this. The yacht vessel Blue Gold is the largest sailing yacht constructed by the legendary Bonetti Group. This thing can sleep 12 people in five different luxurious suites. It was once a part of a fleet, but now still sits abandoned. In March 2015, Cyclone Pam ripped through the area where this fleet was resting. The storm devastated the land on an unprecedented level. It was classified as a Category 5 storm. Experts recorded wind speeds of over 116 knots, gusting to 185 knots at moments. The anchors, even on this behemoth, were no match for that power. The ship and anchors were dragged out to sea. When it was finally discovered again, it was found wrecked in a bed of coral near the island of Mozo. Number 1. Skyscraper Shipwreck Four years ago, archaeologists responsible for the excavation of the former World Trade Center discovered something bizarre deep in the rubble. An ancient sailing ship. You heard that right, there was a ship down there somewhere, somehow. For years, scientists tried to unravel the mystery that is skyscraper shipwreck, and they might have finally solved it. A whopping 22 feet below the street level means this thing was here for some time, perhaps when water still dominated what is now New York City. The entire ship was scanned using advanced imaging before excavation was conducted. They wanted to get all the parts and be able to assemble it once again once it was extracted. The imaging helped them avoid sensitive areas that might damage the ship. Once they had the wood, it was simply a matter of reading the tree rings to determine what year it was constructed. Scientists determined the ship was fashioned from wood from Pennsylvania around the year 1776. The ship itself had been uncertainly identified as a Hudson River sloop. These vessels were geniusly designed by the Dutch to transport passengers and cargo over shallow, rocky water. They ranged from about 20 to 30 years of service, and this one was thought to have sailed to its final in Lower Manhattan, a block west of Greenwich Street. It just goes to show that some abandoned things may never be found again. Their mysteries and answers will forever rot away with the sands of time. Here, it took a terrorist attack and years of excavation to finally discover it. How many secrets of our world are just below our feet, and for how long? Circumstances happen that force people to abandon their belongings. It could be safety, desire, utility, you name it. But humans tend to abandon that which they can't use and or no longer want to. One man's trash is another man's fortune, and that's certainly the case with the subject here on today's list. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.